Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about 10 creative ways that you can make a little extra money online. Hey guys, welcome to Life Without Boundaries. If this is your first time here, this is a channel where we talk about different ways to make money, specifically online, and how to supplement your income so that you can break down financial boundaries in your life. If that's something that you'd be interested in, go ahead and click the subscribe button down at the bottom and click the bell notification because we release videos every weekday. Also feel free to comment because I like to respond and talk to everybody in my chat. So go ahead and do that if you have a question because I'd really like to hear from you. Number one selling items on Craigslist. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm not talking about your items. On Craigslist there's a spot where it says items for free and you go down and you look through those items and some of those items are pretty good valuable items that are selling elsewhere for profit. So what you would do is you would take those items that are for sale, I mean that are for free, and then you would repost them on Facebook Market or somewhere else for a profit. Sometimes they're in bad condition and may need a little bit of uh, tender love and care, but if you make it look nice, make it look new, then you can sell it for a good price. Number two, you can sell your photos. Photos from your phone, photos from your camera. Uh, if you go to Shutterstock.com, you'll be able to sign up and upload your photos and people will pay you to use them. They will be able to download your photos and use them for things and you will get paid for it. This is a very um, good way to kind of get your name out there as a photographer or even if you just enjoy taking pictures that may look good or that you think are beautiful and uh, yeah you can upload them and people can message you and buy them and use them for different things. So yeah that's a really good way to um, be creative with your photos and to make a little money. Number three is to sell your skills. Now we talked about this in a different video of mine. If you want to watch that video, uh, Five Ways to Make Money in 2019, it's up there in the description. But Fiverr, or also TaskRabbit, is a way that you can uh, post your skills online, whether you're good at uh, writing articles or making ads or creating websites lots of different things that you can do if you have a skill set you can sell them on Fiverr for a price and people will hire you to do those jobs pay you and then your rating will go up and you will keep getting notice for doing freelancing jobs like this so this is a really creative way uh, if you don't have much time to just kind of uh, try and get your name out there to get uh, some money rolling in for your skills. Number four on the list is teach a course or teach a class. Now they have websites out there like Udemy and Skillshare that you can provide content to people, sell your knowledge basically. Now if you're very knowledgeable in, um, maybe you're knowledgeable in search engine optimization or maybe you're really good at drawing and you want to teach some people how to some advanced drawing techniques you can set up a course on these websites and charge people to take them uh, this is a great way to make some income uh, depending on how good the courses are you can charge more uh, and people will pay for that if if they see that you are pro producing good value to them through those courses so that's something I recommend for sure Number five on the list is Uber or Lyft. Obviously everybody knows what these are. This company is taking off and is surging right now. It is a multi-billion dollar company. But basically you just drive people around. You can sign up, you can uh, connect it to your accounts and just drive whenever you want. If you need some extra money, just turn on your Uber or Lyft and go drive people around. Uh, this is a great side income, great for people in college, great for people who just need some extra money. Uh, it's fantastic. And of course, everybody knows what it is, but it's good. Number six on the list also goes along with uh, Lyft and Uber, and that's delivering meals through Waiter or Grubhub. Now, these websites, uh, I mean, these apps, basically do the same thing as Uber, except instead of driving people, you're driving food. So you go to a restaurant, you pick up someone's food and you bring it to their where they want it delivered, where it's their work or their house. Uh, it's it's a very profitable business that you can uh, really get some cash rolling, just like Uber and Lyft. Uh, the more you do it, the more money you can make. Uh, some people are making 
working full time doing this. So um, you, obviously you don't have to. It's just one of those things that the more you, you put in, the more money you can make. And it's a, a very good way to just kind of get out there and make some cash while doing something simple. Now number seven on the list is something that many people don't really know about. Um, you can use an app called Ibotta to take pictures of receipts of places that you've been and they will pay you money, rebates, for those receipt pictures. Just the pictures. So sometimes they'll ask you for a receipt with milk uh, purchased from Walmart. If you've already purchased milk from Walmart, just take a picture of the receipt and send it to them and they'll give you like 50 cents. Uh, sometimes they'll pay up to like 10 bucks for a certain item that was bought from like Best Buy or um, some other store. They're asking for certain things and why not take pictures of uh, receipts that you are already just walking around purchasing. Uh, you can make a quick cash. Obviously you don't want to just go out and buy something just because the app is selling you to buy something. Uh, it's not really profitable. But if you're already shopping at these places, uh, go ahead and give Ibotta a look and see where you're shopping and maybe you can make some extra money just taking pictures of your receipts. Send it to them. Number eight on the list is note share. Basically you make money by taking notes for anything really. Uh, mostly this would probably be used for people in college. If somebody who um, isn't responsible in class and not taking their notes, maybe they want to go onto this website and purchase notes from somebody who does take good notes. Uh, this is a good side income for college students, uh, even for uh, people who are just taking notes on uh, like webinars or things like that. People want to know what's in these things. You can purchase your notes from them from this website and you can make money off of it. So if you're a good note taker and you're good at uh, annotating information, uh, go ahead and give this uh, website a try. Okay, number nine is becoming a field agent. Now it kind of sounds like a cop or FBI uh, or detective type thing. That's not really what this is. Basically a field agent is somebody who goes out into the world like a grocery store or a shop and takes pictures and uh, kind of completes assignments what they're asking you to do. And you can get some good money from this. Uh, it's it's kind of like Secret Shopper, but not really. Um, maybe some of the assignments is like, go take a, a picture of, you know, a certain video game in a store and see how much, it, how much it costs there as opposed to somewhere else. And the data you collect in the field will, is valuable to companies and they will pay you for this. Uh, a lot of these assignments are doable in, in your city or in your area. Um, I'll give you a website and show you something here of where you can go to get this information to try and become a field agent. But yeah, it could be really lucrative. Number 10 is recycling your old phones or your old electronics. There's many websites that do this. Um, I'll, I'm gonna show you a list of websites that can um, recycle your old phones and they will pay you to get money. I'll pay you money to send in their old phones. Sorry, my words are getting jumbled up. But yeah it's I, I don't know about you but i have about five or six old phones laying around and it would be profitable just to get on these websites sometimes and just send them your phones and they'll give you some money for it um, even phones that are really outdated and no one would buy these people would be willing to pay money for the parts and things like that so yeah if you recycle these phones they can get a couple of dollars here and there and make you some side money and if you want to learn more ways to make money online, I've got a video right here on the side that shows you how to make uh, money with five different websites in 2019. I'm Philip Watley, and I hope to see you tomorrow in the next video. See you later.